Hey there, this is Debbie Wright with Charles Ruttenberg Realty, serving St. Petersburg to Clearwater and all of Tampa Bay. And I'm here to talk to you today about six tips to increase home value. So follow me. landscape. This is pretty important. This is what invites people into your home or actually what it does is it lets them know, oh, if the outside looks nice, I bet the inside looks equally as nice. That's sort of a precursor to what's on the other side of those walls or behind your front door. And so when you have a very well manicured front yard and you're presenting your home nice and neat and clean outside, uh, people automatically assume that that's how you've maintained the inside. So it's important to trim the trees, raise the canopies, um, remove any kind of shrubs that are near the house or against the fence. You want those to be back at least a foot or so. Um, shrubs and other type of greenery uh, will tend to deteriorate certain materials. So for instance, if you have a wood fence and you have shrubs against it, it could add to the deterioration of that fence. So you want to, you want those um, plantings to kind of be set back a little bit. You want to trim and maintain a space in between your home and fence, etc. Tip two: freshen up. Um, super important um, and get yourself on a schedule. I mean, power washing the roof and cleaning debris off, super important. Uh, cleaning soffits, walkways, driveways, decks and fences, also very important. Uh, here in Florida in February, we have oak trees and they disperse their pollen and so everything's coated in green. <laughs> so we have to uh, go ahead and get a power wash or a soft wash of the roof if you have a tile roof like we do. Uh, we get a soft wash done um, just to get that green debris off and make sure that everything that was coated is now been wiped down and washed off because it tends to damage it or at least stain it and you don't want that it it takes away from your home's value it doesn't increase home value so you need to make sure that you're addressing that when it happens and that might not be the season where you live but I'm sure you have a season where uh, nature uh, tends to blossom and there are other um, issues that you may have to address as you go through the year. Okay, tip three, update. This one's pretty simple uh, and it actually impacts value a lot. So uh, when you buy a house and there may be different hardware all over the place, different doorknobs and handles here and faucet there, go ahead and make a list, a honeydew list when you move in, just to make all the, the hardware consistent throughout the home. It really does pay off in the end in the consistency and when you go to sell your home you're really going to see increased home value just from that one aspect um, so you want to change out kitchen fixtures and bathroom fixtures and knobs and handles and it's going to give a whole new feel to a room especially if you added some paint or some trim it could completely change uh, the feel so um, that is something I recommend as soon as you buy a property. If that's not already the case, make those hardwares consistent throughout the home and you'll see the value later down the road for sure. Okay, tip four, increase home value by cleaning. Deep cleaning, so important, especially if you have pets, uh, to make sure that you're cleaning those carpets at least twice a year, um, grout lines. Um, materials are porous and sometimes they absorb smells. Uh, so if you have kids and dogs like I do, I'm always fighting a battle there and carve out time at least once or twice a year to have a deep clean. It really does keep you ahead of the game uh, and you get to kind of uh, head off any anything that needs to be repaired. You notice things a little differently at that point but doing that deep clean is super important okay tip five paint now if you need to paint the exterior of your home or the interior this is a great opportunity to go and see what's trending uh, right now in Florida we have this gray white turquoise trend going on and so you see it everywhere buyers love it I take buyers through houses and every time they see that gray white turquoise theme they just love that color that's what they want um, and that is the trend today. In six months, I don't know if that's still gonna be the trend, but I can tell you that gray and white are traditional and they can be neutral colors depending on the, the palette you select. 
So that's kind of what would be my approach. I would go to Pinterest, I would go to Home Depot, and I would look at swatches and I would stay more neutral in the color palette and then accent a door or trim in whatever that trend color is. And it's easy to correct down the road if that trend does change. Uh, and you wanna put your house up, to, up for sale in a year or so, and you wanna maybe update and freshen something up, it's gonna be super simple to do at that point. If you are not in the market to uh, paint your entire exterior or your entire interior, just simply painting the trim, the baseboards, and the front door is gonna make a huge impact. It freshens up the space, it gives it a facelift, and most importantly, it looks like you really care and maintain your home. It's a, a nice, crisp look when you walk into the bathroom and everything's freshly painted and you've got new hardware. It just really gives the room a facelift. So my six, uh, number six tip it, to increase home value is probably one of the more important ones. And it's been a common thread through the other tips. Repair items when they break. If your sink is leaking, get it fixed. It could be a symptom of a bigger problem. If an outlet suddenly stops working, have an electrician come over or someone who is knowledgeable so that you can address that because it can also be a symptom of a bigger problem. If you have got fungus on the bottom of a door and it's heading up the frame, address it quickly before it just starts taking over other types of material in the area that it can grow and damage. Um, so you wanna make sure and address that too. The idea here is to head things off before they become a big problem. And deferred, pay, uh, deferred maintenance is a number one issue with buyers, no matter what the market is, whether it's a seller's market or it's a buyer's market or a balanced market, buyers want uh, to get as much value as they can. And when they perceive that there's a lot of uh, deferred maintenance in a home, they're turned off by that. And all they see is a long laundry list of things that they're gonna have to repair or do once they get in the home. And some of those things aren't very fun, um, like painting or decorating. Um, so it's important that uh, to t you take care of things as quickly as you can once they arise. All right, those are my tips. Let me know what you think. Give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, leave me a note. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me, you can uh, send me a message on Facebook and I'll respond. I appreciate you looking at my video uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.